we're going to talk about inhalational anaesthetic agents. So can you um, explain to me what affects speed of onset of inhalational anaesthetic agents? The first speed of onset of inhalational anaesthetic agents, one of the first factors would be the, the alveolar ventilation. So the higher the alveolar ventilation, the um, faster the buildup of the concentration of the inhalational anesthetic in the in the lungs. Um, the inspired concentration of the anesthetic agent is also another factor. The higher it is, the faster will be the speed of onset. Um, the cardiac output coming to the patient has an inverse relationship with the speed of onset uh, because cardiac output will cause a reduction in the gradient between the alveolus and the blood. So it kind of slows down the buildup of the um, con alveolar concentration. Um, the blood gas solubility coefficient, which is the ratio of the amount of um, the anesthetic inhalation agent in the, in the alveolus to the amount in the blood at a steady temperature. Um, it's an inverse relationship. So the lower blood gas coefficient will uh, mean a faster onset because the major thing that determines the speed is the partial pressure of the agent, not really the solubility of the agent in blood. Um, other factors like the um, the um, the potency of the agent, the some other physical properties like the smell of the um, odor and um, will also affect the speed of onset. Um, and also for certain gases like nitrous oxide, the concentration and second gas effect too also has a role to play. And can you explain to me what the concentration effect and the second gas effect are, please? <laughs> So nitrous oxide is um, is um, associated with the concentration effect. It is very soluble in blood. It diffuses out of the alveolus into blood much faster than nit nitrogen can diffuse into the alveolus. What this means is that when nitrous oxide is given with other gases, inhaled gases or um, fresh gases and um, other volatiles, because it comes out of the alveolus faster than air will go back into the alveolus, it increases the fractional concentration of whatever gas is left in the um, alveolus. This helps to build up the alveolar concentration and, and increase the speed of onset. The, this does the concentration effect. That effect can be used to uh, produce a second gas effect. When you use nitrous oxide in high concentrations with another volatile, to try and speed up the onset of um, and, um, in induction, because as it moves out, it increases the concentration of the volatile agent, and it builds builds it up and speeds up speeds up its onset. Lovely. Um, and how do inhalational anaesthetic agents work? Um, there are different hypotheses for the. Um, mechanism of action for inhalation of ball. Um, the major fact so is the, the major thing is the fact that um, as the partial pressure of the inhalation anesthetic builds up in the alveolus, it increases the partial pressure in the blood and also partial pressure in the brain. They are believed to be highly liquid soluble agents and um, because of that they can cause them anesthesia. anesthesia. Okay, um, and what is the uh, mean alveolar concentration? Sorry? Sorry, what is the MAC? MAC, oh, minimum alveolar concentration. So um, minimum alveolar is the minimum amount of an inhalation agent that will prevent um, response to a standard surgical stimuli in 50% of patients at atmospheric, at atmospheric pressure. Okay, and what is it a measure of? Um, is a measure is an is an indirect measure of the potency of um, anesthetic agents. Okay, great. Uh, so that's the end of that one. Move <laughs>